Hello everyone, welcome you again. This is Raju Mathu. On my last video, I have shown you how can we remove all the rows present on a table view using Alloy MVC with Titania. So today I'm going to show you how can we delete a specific row present on a table. So to do that, let's create our view on index.xml, which is generally the landing page of any of the application made with alloy using titanium so let's the L add the alloy tag then i'm going to add the window which will hold all our ui element defining the background color for the window assigning it as white now let's create our table view sorry this should be table view then I am going to add the table rows so for that we need to create create the tag called table view row which will have the property called title containing the text which will be displayed on UI portion of the page that is on simulator so again i am going to add some more rows on this table and rename the title so that we can distinguish the title on the uh, distinguish the rows on the screen accordingly so now to apply the delete functionality so let's add a click event on table view so that on click of any of the rows displayed on a table view it will get deleted so for that let's define on click event here first on table view so let's name the function as delete row so I'm going to define the same function on its related controller which is index.js then I'm going to define it now passing I'm going to passing a parameter which will hold the table row on which we have specifically clicked so that we can delete that specific row so now to delete that specific row we need to call that table first so to catch that table so we need to define a class or you need to define a property for that table so let's define a id here it's a better practice for practice to get the any of the UI element by its ID so I am going to define an ID here so let's make it as a TBL now on controller let me get the table by its ID property now to delete any row in a table view titanium also provide a method associated with the table which is delete row generally used to delete the row from the table and then I need to pass that specific row so here it is event dot that source that's it let's save it and run it on simulator now it's you can see that it's very simple to delete any rows from a row we just need to call the delete row method associated with the table passing the passing a parameter that contain the specific row that we have clicked on so here you can see that I have added six rows on a table view now cl clicking on any of these rows that row will get deleted so let's click on this row 2 
so here I have click on it now here you can see that it gets deleted from the UI also from the table view so here again if I click on this row 5 it will get deleted so by this way you can see that we can delete any specific row from a table view using the delete row method associated with the table so up to this for today thanks